Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> uh, we're all here today to answer any questions about the uh, pelvic restoration and disease prevention uh, masterclass that's coming up to an area near you. So hopefully you've got some questions for us. Yes, I'm just checking right now. I don't see anything in this message thing yet. Um, <clears throat> we will be in Florida as our first stop from April 26th to April 28th. Um, if anybody wants to join us in the Florida area, we will be there. And this course is for women who are looking to take massive personal action in connecting both with their divine feminine and really unleashing the power, the healing power contained within the womb, which is the, the point of creation, right? We, we all come into this world via that, that center and learning how to really honor, respect, care, nourish that area so that we can spread the vitality throughout our, our whole body. Learn about your hormones and, and how literally what you're eating and thinking is affecting the health of that area and your entire body, right? The course provides a roadmap for your own self-discovery. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we, we do work and really, really connecting um, to our bodies and actually paying attention to what they're telling us. Uh, we've got a couple of people right now on, on Restream. Yeah, so you mentioned nutraceuticals that help with jet lag. Can you remind me? Lorraine? Uh, I, I would be doing the, the Black Diamond. And yeah. the IGF. <laughs> and the, the IGF would help and the Infinite Iodine, all three of them. So right. Infinite give you more energy. The IGF is... is um, also going to give you more energy you that youthful feeling but the black diamond is the one that that's going to get rid of um uh the the uh the way the body is feeling jet lag and actually an ultimate coffee enema would also help when you land yeah the black diamond's really good for for detoxing the emf radiation and you get a lot in an airplane would the, daily, would the daily cleansing caps be helpful to take I while on the plane? Definitely while flying, while you're traveling, it's just quicker. Sorry, you but cut the, out. I said <clears throat> definitely the daily cleansing caps would be good for while you're traveling because they're easier to take. You know, if I'm going from one place to another place to another place before I get to my destination, way easier. But once I get to my destination, I want to take daily cleansing. Yeah. It's better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, some other things you learn in the course are the tools um, that you could be using. Um, so we have the vaginal infusion. Uh, yoni eggs. Um, what else is there? I think that's those are the two external uh, exercise. Yes, Both make a world of difference. And uh, again, you know, when we can do something and really be intentful of what we're doing and really connect to our body, that's when we're going to get the that's when the magic that's when the magic. That's when entirely to our body. We had a little talk the other day, and and one of the things that we brought up that is that this class, yeah, I mean, coming here and asking questions is great, but if you really want to get this connection, it's got to be an in-person experience class, you are not going to be able to get the same information uh, having your question. That's very true. The, the in-person experience, just the energy <laughs> alone, 
and watching it shift in that first course from slight like unsure to just complete comfort and community and then how each woman had kind of their own aha within their own um identity is is almost what I, how i would put it i mean even for myself yeah. i noticed from just learning the course content and then participating through that um so i thought uh, someone who's asked about they learned they they understand helps with bladder issues but they heard that someone um and got help within the three-day course and you're right within three-day course and, and again it's because this is being done very intentful we're working from the inside the outside we're using the breath meditation we're coming from it from every we're looking at it at um you know as stretches you're doing we are addressing this from every single angle and you bet people the um, the oldest lady there said it, it it made a difference because she was one who who needed to make sure she scouted out where the washroom was just in case yeah i myself included i am 65 and i didn't have problems holding but when i did uh, urinate it it's it kind of did a, a spray rather than a stream and within those first three three um, uh, days that changed so coming home to realize how powerful this area is in healing well, when you're bringing that attention and in like inner awareness to that pelvic floor and the fine, fine muscles in that area that we don't really give any conscious attention. So you're getting taught things that you were completely oblivious of and then you're putting direct intention there along with, yeah, it was even for myself, just post post baby, I noticed how my pelvic floor is weaker and I still worked out and all that stuff, but actually bringing that finer awareness with the Yoni egg, with the meditations, it was powerful. And even the changes that I've seen in the last like month and a half for, for myself, where it like took it to that next level where I was like, is this as good as it gets? Like, you know, it was exactly. We were coming home to the ovarian palace. That's what we were doing. You know, I, I know for myself, I had a huge disconnect to that area. As far as, as far as I was concerned, that was for pleasing my husband and having babies. That's it. That's it. And, you know, I, I loved having babies. I could have had babies for everybody, but another story. <laughs> <laughs> um, Felicia is asking how it works so quickly. Again, it's intense. So and, and in the room too, you know, we we do connect with, with the other people that are in the room and my energy gets shared with your energy. Your energy gets shared with my energy and we're all in there for the same reasons, to reconnect to this beautiful pelvic floor that we have, um, I don't wanna say mistreated, we've just forgotten, we've just, disconnected like we we've never been taught that's the problem you know we, this is something that needs to be handed down from generation to generation i've talked to my daughter about this she's already already on her way and she's got a a 15 year old daughter and i'm hoping that she's talking to her you know because this makes a world of difference just imagine how beautiful this world is going to be if we can be fully connected to who we are and taking care of our ovarian palace exactly being mindful exactly and just you know getting a better awareness of how the body works how does this work oh i need to do some internal exercise oh i can use the yoni egg oh i can meditate you know, I can come back to my breath. I can. It's adding in those baby steps of self-care each and every day. And then they accumulate to some way that those little not so good habits accumulate into different stages of inflammation. Exactly. Exactly. 
but we we really need to to take a good look how are we doing life how what am i am i on the perfect day maybe i don't know enough about it maybe i need to have a consultation so i can really hone in on that you know we just need to to take these little baby steps it doesn't mean that everything's going to happen overnight but but miracles do happen and they happen all the time when we are prepared to accept and acknowledge that they do happen yeah you just have to take massive personal action and it'll all that's when your life will start changing someone is asking what else can you learn from this class you know the self care the self love because if if we're not if we're not doing work on ourselves to to um come to that self love we're we're not going to get there that's got to be number 1 we've got to be able to honor respect protect forgive trust and totally love ourselves many people will tell me that they love what they do and they may even love who they are but they are not loving the body and there lies the problem this is a gift this is this is our gift the gift that was given to us so we could experience this life and we're not doing any of it we're not we're not um people are asking about the yoni egg so that really helps with your energy when you have it inserted when you sleep with it at night if you are like have it in throughout your day sometimes it will just pop itself out when it's kind of had enough and you have to just accept that and don't try to put it back in like it's done for the day um but sleeping with it in a lot of people have had different experiences or dreams or nightmares but it's all healing because they reflect on those the next day because you do remember them and you kind of can understand what you were meant to be like realizing from that. If that makes it, sense. It definitely helps you keep a mindful connection to that area as well. Like I noticed using it like progressing where it was like, it would keep me thinking about being engaged. Oh, we lost her a little bit. Brings awareness um, and energy there. Yeah. Uh, Felicia's asking why nightmares. The yoni eggs generally, well, you will have vivid dreams, but they can be nightmares. Or, like, it depends on the egg and where you're at and all of that. Um, my experience was dreams, but one of the ladies in the course, she had, like, three, I think she had three nightmares back to back. But it was it helped her understand and like, I, I don't know if you guys remember her story with her kids. Like it was like a nightmare of her son in the dream, but when she was thinking about it the next morning, um, she was able to understand and kind of heal from that. That happened like years ago. Exactly. So it helped her grow and accept what happened years ago. And sometimes, yeah. That's all we need is a as a an awareness, and that can come in like a nightmare kind of thing. Yeah, and that's the way it was for her. So mm -hmm. uh, Yvette is asking, how many sizes of eggs do we need? Uh, you know what? There, it the yoni egg comes in three different sizes. It's kind of good for you to have all three because you can experience with all three. Some people, you know, a, a a different size it's just like anything else things things work differently for different people so yeah. having variety is always better and even the type of of yoni egg um, we we found out that the jade one is probably the most accepted by most people but um the the rose quartz was really good for a lot of people too and once you've tried those two you might want to experience with with um, another different time type of jam. Yeah. Um, for example, a little funny story that I have. Um, my grandmother's been staying with us 
she's recovering from lung cancer and she did the medical way and she's kind of done with it. She's like, I haven't felt any better. So she's staying with us and allowing my mom to kind of nurse her using all the doc products, doc detox products and um, cell sonic and all of that. We just got our cardio med bed today. So when that's up and running, then we'll get her on there. Um, but we gave her a black onyx yoni egg and she couldn't keep it in the whole night. So then she held it and she said she had the best sleep. Um, and then she went home and then come back. But last night, <laughs> my I guess my brother was like napping on the bed and he comes downstairs and he pull, he's like, what is this in my pocket? And he pulls out the yoni egg. I was like, put that down. Why? <laughs> Why do you have it? I didn't know if it was clear. I didn't know what was going on. Um, and he's like, what is it? I'm like, just put it down. And I was like, it's a yoni egg. He's like, what is that? I'm like, it goes in the vaginal canal to like help women heal. And he's like, and he was mortified. And he's like, ew, why did I touch? I was like, I don't know. It was drawn to you. It went into your pocket. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> But that was quite entertaining. Um, well, that's awesome. All of the problems that we have in the, the, the pelvic uh, floor, the pelvic bowl, is because of the pooping in the pelvis. So somebody asked about a rectal itch, and, and um, it was a gentleman's name, I, I, I think. <laughs> And uh, definitely, you know, uh, we, we recommend that you use the vaginal or rectal infusion. And you can get more information on that um, from if you've had a, a per perfect day consultation, your consultant would be able to advise you of that. If you haven't had a perfect day cons consultation, I would recommend that you have one because there's often more going on than what you expect. Exactly. Yeah. And then there was a question from Felicia where she just said, what is the meaning behind the egg? Is it to strengthen the pelvic floor? Well, it has a multitude of, of meanings, but one of the purposes of the egg is to basically like taking your vaginal canal to the gym, it will strengthen and tone the walls. And if you're, you can actually use the vaginal infusion with the egg <laughs> as well, as Serena mentioned at one point. Um, but it's also to develop that just awareness and um, connection between just your intent and yeah, strengthens it up from the bottom, from the middle and all the way to the top. And as you practice with it, your awareness grows and your connection to that, that mindful connection to the area grows. And the, and the stones each, like Lorraine was explaining, have their own subtle energies that are influencing you as well. And some will stay longer than others and you'll just be like, oh, whoa, <laughs> right? It's neat to observe. Yeah. Um, someone is asking, can we keep trying infusion? Actually the vaginal infusion, if you're in a chronic condition, you'd be wanting to do it every single day. Like, it just depends on your health and where, where you're at. If I've got a yeast infection, and that's really the only thing going on, which probably is more, but if that was the only thing going on, you'd probably be able to rectify that problem in a matter of, um, I would say, a week, maybe two. Um, you know, if you've addressed your diet, you've addressed your emotions, you've had that perfect day, so you understand what happens in the body as we we uh, manifest dis-ease or disease because it's always a thought that creates an emotion that creates a disease always every time yeah um roger's asking where can we get a perfect day consultation so you'd go to um yeah. pardon alicia put the link up so you can go oh, to she did. Forward slash consultation. Thanks, Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> um, CBD suppository in vag versus rectum indications, please. Um, us women, we have we have the opportunity to to use both. So why wouldn't you? You can do it in both. 
I wouldn't do it both the same time though. <laughs> but um, you know, if 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 it's a specific vaginal problem, then you'd be doing it in the in the if it's a specific rectum problem, then you'd want to be doing it in the in the rectum. But if you're just trying to clean up, not just trying to clean up, if you're trying to clean up the poop and in your pelvis, either one will work. Yeah. Um, to answer your other question, Yvette, we are currently working on a syllabus for it. So that's not quite ready yet. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Any other questions out there? Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there was a question about painful periods and coffee enemas, like if they would help ultimate, the, coffee, yes, enemas. ultimate coffee enema. Okay. Well, um, I guess the ultimate coffee enema is, is good for more than just, um, you know, cleaning out the large intestine, which is not the intent anyways. The intent is, is to support the liver. So when you can do the ultimate coffee enema, um, there is the hepatic portal, which is only about three inches up from the rectum. And when the coffee hits there, it goes directly into the liver and it helps the liver to support more bile. This helps with the detoxification process of the liver. So now the liver is able to detoxify better. When you're holding a coffee enema, if you can hold it for three minutes, I'm going to give you a, a gold star. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a gold star just for doing the coffee enema, the ultimate coffee enema. So three minutes, it takes three minutes for your entire blood system to go through um, the, the liver and get detoxified. So if you can hold it for three minutes, you've cleansed once if you can hold it for six minutes you've cleansed your but your your entire blood system twice if you can hold it for nine minutes now you're up to three times if you get to the magic number of 12 you've done it four times and you're removing pain and inflammation markers from the blood at the same time which is pretty neat while boosting your glutathione and then the ultimate, you're adding the black gold in there and it just up, takes a coffee enema to a new level because you're not going to recirculate any toxins that your liver is purging, like Lorraine eloquently put. Yes. Um, Felicia's asking, is it best to do non-surgical before this course in the pelvic area? Will that make it even more effective or would that irritate the area? Uh, that... that you know, you could have it done before, but I just wouldn't do it like the a few days day before. Give yeah. myself time to to uh, kind of like maybe five days before would be would be fine for someone, or maybe someone would have to do ten days before, so they're feeling pretty good by the time they they come back and are in the course. But doing, we, we do show, we do do offer some um, uh, non-surgical, like a 20-minute non-surgical, just to give people an idea of, of what it feels like and help people have even more release. So that's something that we do in the course. So there, all of us that are help on all that area. practitioners, so we all have the ability to do this so that you get experience of, of um, getting the pelvic area worked on and get some issues in your tissues uh, and allow them to be released. Now, is one going to be enough? Depends on what's going on down there. Um, what else do we learn in the class? Yoni eggs, meditations, mindfulness, what else? Um, breath work, exercises. how important it is to yeah. be intentful and, and really connect. We go over the highway to health, we go over the gut brain connection, along with a couple specific series of exercises. 
that really do strengthen the pelvic floor. And I saw the question is why do Kegel exercises not work? It's not that they don't work, but in context with actually having the meditations and, and the ceremonies that go behind it. And then when you have the yoni egg, depending if you have the small, medium or the large, it's actually like a little weight. <laughs> so, yeah. so there's some, some added benefit to, you know, when you're starting to add that little bit of weight of what it does to those intercostal muscles. And then you take the exercises that we do and you do it with the yoni egg and you've got another layer of mindful connection and awareness in that area that you maybe don't have if you're just doing kegels and the traditional kind of exercises. So it's just like a new level in that regard is how I would say it for my experience. Yeah. Um, can you elaborate on the ceremonies? Hmm. There's, it's just, I guess, asking permission, like just respecting your body before inserting anything or doing anything. You're just taking the time to really appreciate it. Developing that mindful connection and, and awareness and then a little bit of um, self-exploration at the same time. So you're connecting with yourself and it's it's a very specific way, but it makes a difference as uh, as I discovered. And then everything, everything about this course is very sacred. Oh, we are uh -huh. dealing with a very taboo, most, most out, out there, it's taboo. We don't talk about these things. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're dealing with this. So this is very sacred. This is our ovarian palace. This is our power house for healing as far as women go. I mean, that this is where life began. That's pretty powerful. Very. Would the vaginal infusion and jade egg help with painful intercourse? Because, yes. because it's strengthening the, the muscles there, um, usually, usually painful intercourse can be from the, the, vagin the vagina being dry. That could be one reason. Or it could be from a prolapse. Both of those things will be, will be helped out with doing this course. And then keeping yeah. up with the exercise. It's not like you're going to do the three-day course and I'm done. No. I mean, it's like, it's like me going on a diet and I'm going to be on the diet until I lose weight and then I'm going to eat whatever I want. No, that doesn't work. You're going to build it into your perfect day, essentially, because the perfect day, both the nutrition and it's like an added layer to it that's specific to female health. But at the same time, there's an element of it that just runs through the perfect day when it, you're looking at the large intestine health so that you're not leaking inflammation into that pelvic bowl, which is a big symptom where we get excess scar tissue, crystallization and adhesions in that area, restricting blood flow leading to our inflammatory issues in that area, including the prolapse, right? Exactly. Exactly, because uh, we have no tone in that area. Or the glands that secrete the, the lubricants can get calcified and blocked as well. And it's, it's more so that, that inflammatory condition in that area, whether it's slightly calcified or because the area is just so inflamed, the gland can't do its job, right? So adding in the nutrition, the vaginal infusions, which are amazing because you absorb so much more like a thousand percent more nutrition through the vaginal canal than you are when you're going this way with those things to detox that area it's just that extra layer someone is asking where they can purchase um uh the yoni egg and uh, i mean you can go to amazon and purchase yoni egg there we have a specific supplier that we'd like to uh, encourage people to purchase from, but you get that information when you sign. Yeah. yeah. And if you are purchasing an egg on your own from Amazon or somewhere else, um, jade and rose quartz are good to start with because they're calming. Um, and then you can go from there. And when you start with like a, 
a large size, you feel it more when you're doing exercises and then you can kind of try the medium and the small. And Serena had said that everybody um, connects different with a different size where you feel it better and it just, you react better to it. Um, should, somebody's asking how it rebalances hormones. I don't know that it rebalances hormones, does it? It just, it, it it's like energy work. You want the infinite iodine to rebalance your hormones. I'm getting on a perfect day diet because dairy is a big interfere of women's hormones. It's yeah. The prolactin. You can disinfect your egg by putting in boiling water, or you can use the um, silver bullet solution spray to help disinfect it. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else have any questions for us? I guess not. <laughs> well, we lost thank Rain. you. Yeah, her connection in Mexico isn't that great. <laughs> well, is there anything you'd like to, to? Yeah, is there anything else you wanted to say or add, Alicia? Oh, the next course is in Stewart, Florida. Um, from so dental April floss is six to April 28th. And then from there, the next one will be in Chicago. Where is that? Oh, I guess Alicia's connection is being spotty as well. Well, to check out any of the dates, you can go to, um, BraveheartNation.com to check out all the locations and places we'll be for doing all of the courses, the whole New World Practitioner course, Pelvic course, and Braveheart Circle, Healing Circle course. Um, and if anybody is interested in consultations, you can go to BraveheartNation.com and then go down to consultations, and it will lead you from there. Um, or even just learning about the courses, you can access the library from BraveheartNation.com as well and just get all the information on everything. Check out all the, the A to Z wellness. You can look at the vaginal infusion from there, coffee, the ultimate coffee enema, six-day advanced water fast, everything you want to know. <laughs> I am woman. Yeah, I am woman. Um, just starting your journey to like self-healing it's all there in the library if you want to have a look at that but yeah thank you everybody for joining us and then there's one more the lecture that is end pelvic suffering forever live lecture in stewart florida yes. that's on monday april 24th from 6 30 to 9 30 p.m that's in person and also on live if you can't be there in person Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. It was lovely chatting with you all. I don't know if you guys have your bands on. <laughs> Three, two, one. We got this.